Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome to another Final Fantasy XIV video. Today we're going to be updating the Ishgard Restoration Expert Recipes for the Pterodactyl Mount. Since you need 500,000 points for each crafter and gather a job, this is going to be a huge endeavor. But now that we have the indicator set, we can do this without really using a soul stone or dollar nations. All you need is 621 CP. Our control and craftsmanship is way above what we need, so we don't have to worry about that. Just make sure that you are using your T for CP and extra control. If you're doing this in the future at level 100, you really shouldn't be needing any kind of food or any other kind of medicines for this because your stats should be way over the limit. Okay, so no goods, excellence, or sturdies are required. So do trial synthesis. So the rotation is going to be muscle memory, manipulation, veneration, waste not two. Now if waste not two lands on malleable, you're going to be using a basic touch and then doing a prudent touch because waste not two cannot work with prudent. Okay, so after all that, you're going to apply final appraisal, ground work twice. Now, innovation, and now we're going to do prep touch until eight stacks of inner quiet. If voice not two does not land on malleable, then you can just do your prudent touches. So now we're going to reapply innovation and then do two prudent touches. So there are ways around the waste knot in the end. All right, so after that, you do train finesse once, twice. We apply innovation and do a third. Because Barakats is going to hit for 5,000, so you don't have to worry about anything else. So great strides. We're getting Barakat's Blessing, but um, good, but we're going to get rid of it because I want accurate results here. And now Barakat's. There we go, 100%. And then you should do basic synthesis. Alright, you do it one more time. And there you go. And I have 10 CP left over. So there you go. No a soul stone or delinations or specialists required in order for you to go from zero to 100. Now, if you go the full collectability, you will get the maximum points for your turn in. So that's why it's important to get the max 1547 collectability. Anything less, you will be getting less than maximum. Okay, because you want to get 500,000 points. So you want to get as many you know, points as humanly possible. So these materials are going to be, I guess, pretty cheap because not, not too many people are going to be doing this. But if you guys want, gather them yourself. But if you really want to get this done quickly, buy them off the market board for cheap. And if your server is selling them too expensively, go hop around and find the best, uh, best prices for you. But this is how you do it with the indicator set. Like I said, at level 100, you shouldn't really have to worry about your stats. If you guys want to try this with lower control, 
you're more than happy to do so, but I am not going to be remaking or remelding anything to figure that out. But this is how you guys do it, and that is my rotation. Alright guys, so that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV content and join the first brood. If you guys want to join my Discord server, the link will be in the about section down below. And if you guys want to support my channel monetarily, I do have YouTube memberships available, starting at a dollar a month. So until next time, if you ever walk in the glorious light of Lord Bahamut, and always remember to keep forging ahead. Good luck with the grind.